Elvis, are you going to throw up on mommy? Hi, guys. <laughs> Elvis. Welcome throw, to Laura oh Kane After if Dark. If he throws up, I will die laughing. Elvis, My throw dog up. is not going to throw up throw right up. now. Throw up. I'm Laura Kane. This is Eric Rimmer. Hi. This is producer Brian. Hi, Brian. Hello. Brian, put the freaking camera on you. He Why doesn't want to. Yeah, I know. Not, like you like he ashamed. Wants to be the Wizard of Oz. Are you no, ashamed? It's not connecting. It's not connecting. Oh, man. No. no. We need it to connect this episode because... No one cares that much. Yeah, they do because no. we're going to play the question game when we we need like... Maybe you can come up here or something. Eh, I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay. So... Before we get in, we have a, we have the question game. I have a mm-hmm. bunch of new questions. I got these cards, mm-hmm. and they have a lot of good questions on them. Um, I'm going to also give you what one publication says are the most overrated movies of all time, and I want to see what you guys think about this. I know what one is. There's also a list of the scariest movies of all time, and I know we're all horror movie fans. Well, so two of us are. What do you mean? You walked out of Evil Dead 2. Yeah, you went and shopped on Amazon in the bathroom. You did. Or talked to Evan or something. I don't know what you did. I did. That was a great movie. It was a great movie. What? It has to be a little bit more suspenseful and like Uh, dramatic for me. What do you think suspense means? No, not just like blood and like gore and everything. It was a good story. There was a ton of suspense in that movie. Oh my God. Well, I don't, I have no... Not one little bit of rec- recollection of that. That's because you spent most of the time in the lobby texting Evan or doing something. Okay, before we get to that, and oh, when I was sick for that whole week, uh-huh. I watched a lot of TV, and I have to tell you More some than things. usual? Yes. Oh. <laughs> like, I watched an entire, like, nine episode, full hour episode series in one day. Of the Menendez brothers? Holy oh, mother God. of God. Okay. okay, but first of all, we need to address... What I'm wearing and what you're wearing. Now. What is wrong with what I'm wearing? First of all, your chest hair is in full effect. It is yes. sticking out violently. Yes. yes. <laughs> like you like you but fluffed it out I on did purpose. Just for you. I went like this. It's like you curl it. Yeah. yeah no, for real. Mm-hmm. Do you like Do you that? ever trim that? Once in a while. I don't think chest hair is really in. It is too. Well, you're not a bear. Are you? Are you a bear? An otter. What's an oh. otter? What's an otter? What's an otter? Well, because I'm thin. Oh, bears are more meatier? Husky. Oh, okay. Bears but are bears like are hairy. Pressure. Yeah. Ba- and bears are hairy, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm an otter. I'm hairy, but I'm thin. Oh, <laughs> my God. First of all, this sweater, um, it looks like it's been chewed on by like a goat or something like that. Like, what the heck? It's diesel. It's a relic. It does. I know this kind of look was in a, like a while ago. Um, uh, I know. <laughs> anyway, so it's diesel. Your hair is in full effect. Now, this outfit I'm wearing, I realized as I'm looking at our little teleprompter screen here thing. Not I have one thing to say about it, your dress. I, all, Boobs. Well, no, oh. not, not that. Vagina? No. Oh. oh, my God. Camel toe? No. Oh, oh. oh my God. It Butt is... Crack. This is the world's worst color I think I've ever seen in my life. It is literally poo brown. It's just neutral. It is. But it looks horrible. I can't believe I'm defending it, it but it looks fine. It looks like baby poo brown. It looks like really, really a bad. bunch of babies I, just took a shit on you. It, it looks like painfully unoffensive. Like it like it does not evoke feelings of like. It doesn't evoke any kind of feeling at all. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't Makes find me want to throw up. It's not gross. <laughs> I might just throw up. Shut I might up. throw up on you. He's in oh a mood. Oh my God, he is in a mood. Um, well, okay. she just insulted me for like I did. minute one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You did pay money for a sweater that I could have torn up for you. So you now go. I'm going to be on one this whole podcast, just so you know. <laughs> oh mm-hmm. no. Here so we go. Ready. I might just say vagina every other word. Um, God, please don't. Please don't. That's not even funny at a certain point. That's just I know. obscene. I might say camel toe every other. Why would you? But why? Maybe finger bang. I don't know. Oh my God. Dude. Now, now, okay, like, hold muted. on, hold on. Reset. Yes. Professional. Uh huh, totally. Our sponsor. Yes. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery yes. Center. 360 Lipo. <clears throat> if you want a lower facelift, maybe you want um, a, a breast augmentation like I got. Mm-hmm. Um, the best thing, I one of the best things I ever did for myself, and I wouldn't send you any other place other than 
La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Probably Center. They're the best of the best of the best, and they're in our backyard. And here's more about them. Hi, Dr. Reed. La Jolla Hi. Cosmetic Surgery Center is the place to go if you're looking to rejuvenate your appearance, tighten and shape your body, and just do something special for yourself. You deserve to look your very best. La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center offers over 90 procedures and treatments for a natural, youthful appearance. They are absolutely the best in the business. Try out their treatment planner at glamfam.com. It's so easy and amazing to use. We can't say enough great things about their board-certified plastic surgeons. And guess what? They offer flexible payment plans so you can start your journey to a better you right now. Free consultations, too. The very best in the business is in our own backyard. How lucky are we? Make sure you tell them that Laura Kane After Dark sent you. We love everything about La Jolla Cosmetic Surgery Center. Go to glamfam.com. And I probably have pit stains because I bought this deodorant, and it wasn't cheap. I thought it was just regular deodorant and a perspirant, you know, like I always get. And I brought it home and it's body deodorant. So it's like, okay, am I supposed to like roll this on like all the different parts of my body? Yes. Like weird. Pits and sweats. But it doesn't have in a perspirant in it. So I've I been like sweating bullets. I don't think you need to share that you stink right now. I don't stink. No, it's not. Yes, it's you do. odor. That's what the, it the, oh, helps with the odor. Mm. It just doesn't help with the sweat. Which causes an odor. Which, stop it. But I will not, I don't think I cheaped out on that. That's, I think it was like. I see water forming in (laughs) several areas. Stop it. I know I'm like so hot right now. Probably because this is like non-breathable material. (laughs) I'm suffering for the next. Oh my God. No, it's warm. You're right. But um, one thing we should never cheap out on is what? Condoms. No, deodorant. Oh. Oh my God. I know, right? Chill. Dude, seriously. <laughs> now We run a good, clean show here sometimes. Did you hear this story about this? what happened on Friday the 13th in L.A.? No. Yeah, I heard a couple of kids were at a camp and some guy in a hockey mask. Oh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. No. Somebody in SoCal, they're saying it's L.A., was parked mm-hmm. outside of a school. They had gone inside the gym to go get their kid. Mm-hmm. When they came back to the car, they saw that the back passenger window had been shattered. And when they looked inside, they noticed that there was one thing missing. And the one thing missing was a cardboard box filled with $1 million cash. Dumb. Who cares? What the heck is that all about? Who in LA drives around with a cardboard box with a million dollars why wouldn't it be in your trunk police say that they discovered a gps device attached to the car so somebody was on to them so the victim didn't seem to be aware of this so i don't know this is something's going on so sounds like something out of a movie i know right but wow can you imagine coming back going oh no my box my My cardboard box full of it with a million dollars oh no i left a million dollars in my back seat do you guys still watch Saturday Night Live? Yes. No. Oh, I, it's going to be do. good this year. Okay, no. listen to the lineup. Here's the no. here's the lineup for the next couple weeks. We have Jean Smart oh, as the host. Love her. Hacks the it was I, nominated as the best comedy and show. She won. And she won. She's yeah. great. Musical guest is Jelly Roll, and that's coming up this Saturday. Who? Jelly Roll. Oh, you don't know Jelly Roll? No. Coming up this Saturday. Then October fifth, comedian Nate Bargetts. Do you know how that who that is? And then the musical guest is Coldplay, which okay. is great. Eh. Uh, no. Okay. Eh. Let me just say something. Let have, me just say they something. They haven't been good in 14 hey, years. Hey, 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 hey. Facts. I'm spitting facts. No, you're not spitting facts at all because mm. here's what, here's the deal. Well, when I'm not doing this, I also work at Star 94.1 on the weekends. You do? <laughs> and anyway, we've <laughs> how been- How long have you we, been doing that for? Like a long time. Oh. So we've been promoting our iHeartRadio Music Festival, which happened- this past weekend. Is Coldplay, was Coldplay there? No, Chris Martin from Coldplay was there. They sing? And I happened to be in the car and we had we were live streaming it on Star 94 One Saturday night. And I was tuned in to the part where Chris Martin was performing. That was, I, I don't normally, when I get home, I get out of my car. I want to get into the house and I want to like get my stuff done. I sat in my car and I waited and I listened to every note of every song. He was great. He was an awesome performer. It was it was like just him with the piano or him with the guitar. He sang some of the old songs. He sang a brand new song with this woman he brought up. 
this Palestinian woman. Anyway, it was so freaking good. So take that back. Okay, I real really, quick. What? Their last good album was Milo Zoto. Their best album was Viva La Vida. And yeah, that's about See, it. See, well, you're, it sounds like you're a little bit of a Coldplay fan. From, like I, like I said, there's stuff from about 14 years ago. Good stuff. More like, well, that was like 17 years ago, the Fix You mm. album. That's the one you just mentioned. My last other was like 2010 or 11. Oh, yeah? I don't think Viva La Vida was like 2008. Um, okay, October 12th, Ariana Grande is oh, the host. Done. She is great. Remember, yeah. she does like all those voices. Oh, she does yeah. all She's the hilarious. singers. She can oh, mimic yeah. anybody. Mm -hmm. And then the musical guest. Done. Stevie Nicks. Unbelievable. Oh, can't wait. Her yeah. first time back since 1983. Oh, my God. I love Stevie That's Nicks. going to be a massive yeah. episode. That's October 12th. Awesome. Then October 19th, Michael Keaton. Okay. Girl. And the musical guest is Billie Eilish. Okay. Yeah. And then on November 2nd, John Mulaney is the host and musical guest is Chappelle Rowan. Mm. And, I don't know who. Oh, she, we we're playing her new song and she's really good. And oh. she, um, she's like an, uh, a rising star. Wait, let me just say is this she real pop? quick. SNL has not been good since Norm Macdonald did Weekend Report. Oh, that's a load of crap. No, it's not. Norm yeah. Macdonald was the like the best part of I SNL. I don't like it when mommy and daddy fight. <laughs> no, I don't. you mean mommy and son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please, oh, stop it. <laughs> By the way, SNL is celebrating its 50th anniversary. This is their 50th season. Oh, they have a God. movie coming out about how it started. Oh, it my looks, God. It looks oh. really good. Oh, my God. Oh, can okay, I you're just not tell gonna, you something? What? So... I saw last week the new Halle Berry movie, Never Let Go. It's a horror film. Okay. Directed by Alexander Aja, who did The Hills Have Eyes. He okay. did yeah. High Tension. <laughs> so she was in, she's in a horror movie. It's good. It's really, really good. Okay. I'm not going to tell you anything, but it go see it. It's really good. I saw Beetlejuice. Oh, oh yeah. how was that? That was really it good. good. It was good. Was it? Yeah. So stupid. There is almost no plot. But, but it was good. It is like actually what it is. It's what SNL should be, which is just a series of mildly connected comedy yeah. sketches that are just hilarious. Yeah, it was good. So Michael Keaton is back. Yeah, he's so good. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's really. It is like genuinely a really good movie, and it makes there's like almost no sense in the movie. No, and no it's, not, it's just literally a hodgepodge. Yeah, and the story is not very good at all. No. Like it's actually a very pretty bad story but it's so much fun mm -hmm. what did it get on like rotten tomatoes it got a pretty high i think like at least 85 yeah, oh really good. okay um guess what is back on tv it's season five the real housewives of salt lake city Oh, God. I, oh. You know what? Ever since I got rid of cable, I just don't search out the Real Housewives. I don't watch any of those. Oh, I, I get them. too jealous. It's like, oh, they have good. such like, they're so wealthy and they've got like all these designer things. They've got their makeup artists. They've oh, got yeah. their hair extensions. They've got that. I'm da, watching da, 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 da. them all. I'm watching oh, Orange God. County, okay. Salt Lake City, Dubai. Now, did you do what I told you to do when we went to dinner that Friday night? Did you go home and do what I told you to do? Watch what I told you to watch. The Menendez Brothers. Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. It's called Monsters. It's on Netflix. The Lyle and Eric Menendez yes, story. I'm not through with it okay, yet. What are, what, like what <clears throat> okay. Episode four. Okay. What are you thinking so far? Well, uh, they're both very uh, into each other. <laughs> I know. Here's, Isn't it bizarre? It's here's, bizarre. Right, I've, got, I've got a... Like they make out with opinion. each other. They look like it's Abercrombie really, models. They do. Like, they, I'm like, it's like almost like porn. It's a, yeah. it's a little pornish. You what? do see some. Oh, you dick. see a dick. Yeah. I'm going to say something shocking about them. I don't think they were great people. I think they were pretty bad. They no, were pretty they, awful. Yeah. yeah. It, they do not show them in the best light. Wouldn't be in my top 10 people. But at no. the same time, like. Can like, you believe you they're kinda, both married? I know, in jail, well, married. Well, divorced, I think. But then, and they're not allowed conjugal visits. So these so dummies marry these dudes. And then they're like, well, I'm oh just my gosh. The fact that they almost them. got off. I know. And, um, but then again, were Literally. they lying about the, the, the abuse? Were they not? No, because you da, remember da, the guy da, from da, da, Menudo da. came out and said that the, that the dad, like. Mess with him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like. Yeah. Raped him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I just God. Think, I think they did some bad stuff. I think they're not great people. Oh, yeah. you know where they bought the shotgun? 
here in San, in San Diego. Diego. They, yeah. they drove down oh. because they couldn't they couldn't buy it up in LA. Yeah. It was too much of a waiting period. Shocker. So they wanted to get it done fast. So they blew their parents like head off pretty much. Well, and the weird thing and that that scene was Whoa, rough. I know. Um, I know. But then they the Lyle went back in and like off he, the mom again. He went back down to the car, yeah. reloaded and went and off the mom cuz he saw that she was still moving. Yeah. I mean, come on. I'm, they're 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 exactly where they're supposed to be. Yeah, I think. And then I watched a documentary that my sister told me about. I'm like, I don't know if I want to watch it. I now kind of like remember Millie Vanilli. Yes. This documentary is so good. So Millie Vanilli Brian was a pop uh, sensation yes. back in the late '80s, early '90s. <laughs> They were the, like the top of the Girl, top. You know it's Girl, true. you know it's true. And they had like a couple really like super number one hits. Sorry, I'm allergic. Well, it turns out that these two guys who look like models and they had like these long braids and everything, um, turns out they didn't sing a lick of one of the songs. Not a lick. It was a, somebody else that sang it and they were just lip syncing and they were fooling everyone the public wow. they, they would do concerts and they would it, they would like people be, be interview them and say hey can you sing like and they would they would like freeze up and get all scared so they were carrying this weight of like knowing that they were it wasn't them who did it they were it was a guy the producer yeah who said hey we love your look but you're not going to sing on this album you're going to lip sync but we're going to sell you and this, the That's guy sad. got off. Oh my God. It's just, it's so good. So, and it just, one of the guys is dead now, but, um, do you know what I want to watch tonight when I get home? What? Child star on Hulu. Oh, what's that? It's new. It's, um, Ooh, it's, I'm into that. Oh yeah. It's on Hulu. Oh, I love Hulu. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I watched thriller 40, the 40th anniversary of thriller. And it's, um, it's all about now there's been the documentaries about Michael Jackson, about like bad ones. Right. Mm hmm. This one just is, it just shows his pure talent in his like God-given like uh, in intelligence in musically. Mm -hmm. Like he did things, he created things, he was an innovator. It's so good. So I watched those okay. two back to back and then the Minetta's thing and then I don't know. And then a bunch of true crime stuff that I don't even really remember. Speaking of true crime, do you guys think Michael Jackson was guilty of what he was uh, accused of? You know mm. what? I, I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know. I think that maybe he... Um, I want to think that he just was very kind to... Uh, and he really favored young uh, children because as a child... He didn't get the nurturing he needed, and maybe that's what he was trying to provide. I mean, that's what the. I think it's what not, I want to I think believe. It's not unlikely, but it's I could see it either way, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just odd that any parent would be like, "Oh yeah, you want to sleep in bed with a grown man?" Yeah, that was the weird part. Is the parents yeah. were just like, "This is fine." Yeah, this is okay. Well, I don't know when it's like freaking Michael Jackson. I don't. I don't know. I mean, I. Oh, I mean, I wait. What? No, I know. I know. Like, I know. Listen, <laughs> if Charlie were seven years old and Jennifer Lopez was like, "Do you want to come over and spend the night in my bed?" I'd be like, "How cool, Charlie? Go!" <laughs> oh my god. Oh <laughs> lord. Okay, listen. I'm turning Charlie's your mic so off. Awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm turning your mic. Laura's off. like, never Jeez. get in a stranger's van unless that van belongs to Jennifer Lopez. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, Charlie, go and take pictures, okay? Oh my God, how fun. That guy in a raincoat is selling candy out of his van. Go go over and buy a piece. Here's five cents. He wants to show you some puppies. Go with him. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my God. If a celebrity God. ask you to get in their, their white van, you better get in that van. Oh, oh you God. better you better damn well get in that van. Lord. All right, now, are these the most overrated movies of all time? According to... Um, Let's see, wh what is this from? Um, it doesn't say the, the, the magazine this is from or the... Anyway, but here it is. Okay. There are 20, 20 of them, but I don't know. If, do we want to go through... 25. Yeah. Do we okay. want to go through all 25? Yeah, yeah I want to Do it quick. We'll, all right. Brian, and I, we'll weigh in. American and Hustle, number 25. Mm. Great movie, I oh, thought. Is yeah, it, I thought it was good. Is it overrated? I don't. I mean, not. It was like really highly acclaimed when it came out in 2013. Okay. All right, I thought it was good. Uh, Gravity with the Sandra Bullock. Overrated. Yeah. 2013 came out. Really? Yeah. It was. Yeah. Not, it was fine, but it was not. It did not deserve the acclaim it got. Yeah. 
Private Benjamin. Oh no, it never was saw so that. Good. Oh, I never my saw God. it. I don't think one I ever of my saw favorite it movies. Desperately Seeking Susan. I no. remember not liking that never movie. Seen that that no, was like Madonna in yeah. 1985. You did like it or yeah, didn't like I it? I liked it. Prisoners. Oh, God. That's a great no, so movie. Good. That's a good movie. That is, is a really so good, good movie. That's when a dance villain the Yes. Uh, that guy Jake Gyllenhaal's in it yes. and so is Hugh Jackman right Jake Gyllenhaal's also fantastic in that movie he oh so my god good. they're so such good. a Hugh Jackman and the guy who is was uh, Paul Giamatto yeah n- Paul, uh, Paul uh, is it Giamatto or no, no? Uh, no, no, it's, it's a G. A di- it's a yeah. Giamatti is a different dude. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Um, um, but this guy, the guy from the Batman. Oh, he's yeah. so good. Anyway, Paul so Dano. I did Dano. Dano there yeah. you go. Um, Elf. No, that's a good movie. No, it's a good movie. Top Gun. Yeah. Come yeah, on, overrated. that was what? overrated. Okay, the second the mo- original Top Gun. Yeah, the second one's actually far better than the first one. Not when it's not when you're 1986 and you have 1986 technology. It is like great. Then I think it's even more overrated. Yeah. Oh my god. Fight Club. Mm-hmm. No, Fight Club's such a good movie. <laughs> it is a good movie. Fight Club's a really good movie. Goodwill Hunting. No, oh, that's a great movie. I know, that's dumb. It's good. The Birds. No, it's Alfred good. Alfred Hitchcock? Yes. Hitchcock. Uh, Did you yeah, that's, that's a great 1963. movie. 1963. Yeah. Gladiator. That was a great movie. That was a great movie. movie. Did you see of the Russell Crowe? Yeah, I, I don't mm-hmm. think that's overrated. I think that's a really good I movie. I do too. Like, yeah. I don't know who made this list. The Notebook. Yeah, overrated. No! no oh book. my god! I remember when that came out. So everybody corny, yeah. was just like, "Nicholas You've Sparks got to or see it. Books are just no." Oh my god! But Ryan Gosling. Oh my god! Oh my yeah, god. but he, there are so many movies he's better in. Heck, Drive from like relatively similar eras. Heck, Drive. Yeah, the movie Drive. Oh, Drive. Oh, yeah, that's mm-hmm. a great movie he's in. Uh, Gone with the Wind. No, that's a fantastic that's a great movie. movie. I don't think I've ever seen it start to finish. It's like it it's is good. long, but it's super it's good. Really good. Gone. Uh, the Revenant. That's, that's, that's a little overrated. Leonardo it's Parker. a little overrated. It yeah. was hardcore. Yeah. It was pretty hardcore. Yeah, it was good. I just... Uh, yeah. I mean, think of the conditions they had to film that under. Yeah. That's not what I would have given him an Oscar for. No. Did he win an Oscar for that? Yeah, that was his the first time he's won an Oscar. Oh, my gosh. The English Patient mm-hmm. is I'm number sorry. 11. Overrated. Once Upon a Time in America. Overrated. Mm-hmm. Miracle on 34th Street. No, overrated. Amelie. Overrated. Oh, yeah, that is overrated. That's that's got like almost cult status now. And it's I know, the Breakfast Club. Come no. on, no, that was no like way. no. Yeah, that is no. perfect. Movie. No, it's overrated. It's fine. It's still good, but it is overrated. Friday the Thirteenth is no. next at number six. No, nineteen eighty version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's no. a, the original. That's overrated. Yeah, the original. No. The first one's not the best movie of the series. Which is the best one then? The I'm going to go with two or three. I actually third. like two. Yeah, third is really good. Grease is number five. No, not Come overrated. Come on. No, that was a no. great movie. I kn- Wait, no. I remember. It's overrated. No. No, Brian. No, Brian. No, Brian. No, Brian. No. Not when it you're It is RH. good. It is good. It is overrated. Oh, my gosh. When it came out, we had the, I got the soundtrack. Me too. And I knew every single yeah, word. I don't, I, don't buy, I don't buy the, oh, well, if you look back at time. Look, there are movies that were from your guys' time that still stood up the test of time. Star Wars is a great example. The original Star Wars. Grease, it's good. It's overrated, though. Everything... Overrated. Everywhere, all at once. Overrated. I know, that is a good I, movie. It, I didn't. I couldn't get through it. I, I couldn't. I, I, couldn't I couldn't get through agree. it. It didn't deserve the amount mm-hmm. of Oscars. It right. Got, though yeah. that was kind of insane. Up. Mm, it was no, good. Up's a good movie. That's yeah, a it's a really movie. good movie. Yeah, Up's really good. It's sad. The Shawshank Redemption. No, no that was be so good. It's the so best. Good. Yeah. Whenever it's on TV, no matter what. Yeah. I probably have seen it a hundred times. Yeah, it's I so easy to watch too. So easy. Yeah. And they say the number one most overrated movie is. Oh, I agree. Joker. Ugh. No, that's not. I thought that was Wait, great. Gross. I agree. The Joker movie was not as great, but I don't think it's overrated. I have I think no it's desire to see rated. the second one. Yeah, same. Blech. You don't? No, mm. Lady Gaga's in it, no. and it's no. like has music in it or something. No, <laughs> okay. real quick. I wouldn't even put Joker on this list because number one and number two should be Avatar and Titanic, respectively. I know they're not. Yeah. They didn't make the list. Avatar is a good movie, <laughs> but Avatar does not deserve to be like the global. Avatar was insane when you first saw that. Like you, yeah. you'd never seen anything like that. The before. technology was impressive. Yeah, but it is overrated. Well, maybe now. So is Titanic. But... Titanic's not even that great. Did anybody see the new? No, I haven't. Avatar. Seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Weight of Water. Yeah, yeah how was, was that? That's good. It was okay. fine. Avatar is just as a concept overrated. Now, here are the best horror movies of all time, according to IndieWire. Okay. okay. Now, we'll just do 10. Videodrome is number 10. Never yeah. even heard of it. It's From a, 1983. Yeah, oh. it's, um, what's his name? Is it like a David movie? Cro- it's David Cronenberg. Debbie oh, Mary's it's a Cronenberg? It. Okay. Yeah. The Blair Witch Project. No. 
Way lower. It's, I don't think it's that great. Mm-mm. Oh, I remember seeing that in the theater and being so freaking scared. It was, it was good because it was new, but now in hindsight, it's really it's mediocre. So stupid. This one should be higher up, I think. The Shining. Oh, yeah. Number That's eight. Good. I don't really consider The Shining to be a horror movie. Really? I think of it as more of a psychological thriller. I can see that. I can. Yeah. I get that, but... I'm never scared. But then the blood, you're never scared. Honestly, but like those scenes that are supposed to be scary to me are actually more mesmerizing. The blood scene is like a really like well-composed shot. Like it's fun to look at. Yeah. Oh my God. They, there's a there's a whole documentary about that movie too, uh-huh. The Shining. And it's it, called like Room 247. Oh, or it's something like so... The conspiracies. Yes. Yeah. Not good. About the moon landing it's and everything. Good. It's crazy. It's a load of crap. <laughs> Trouble every day. I don't even know what that is from never, 2001. Never I think it's a it. John Woo movie. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I've never heard of it. Have you ever heard of House? Yeah. House. 1977. No. William Cat was in it. No. No. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, yeah, number that five. Was scary. Not that good. The original. The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Nine, never 1920. Heard of it. I think I've heard of it. I think that's like a B movie on the like the level of like Phantasm from the 80s. Never heard of it. In 1973's Don't Look Now. Oh yeah, Donald Sutherland and Julie Christie. I don't. I don't think I've ever it seen was that. Good. It was. Yeah. 1982's John Carpenter's oh, The Thing. Yeah, oh, The Thing is a is so it? Good. Oh, The Thing is like one of the greatest. You've horror never movies. seen it? No. Laura, you're Why coming over when you're watching that is, Jesus. It, what's it wrong a, with you? It's a body horror. Oh my thing, god, it's, but it's so good. So good. From 1982. Yes. Oh my god. It's and Kurt Russell's up? in it. Oh, it yeah. more than holds up. It's still yeah. like incredibly it's terrifying. Good. Really? Yeah. It's very. It makes you look. Like, it's very oh my squeamish. god. So yeah. They yeah. say the number one scariest movie Andy Wires is, is Possession from 1981. Wait, scariest or best horror movies? Best horror movies. Sorry, oh. best horror movies. Okay. Uh, Possession is I number one. They're missing some good movies. Yeah. Evil well, Dead Two. Evil Dead Two is um is number nineteen on the list. Oh, that's gotta be top ten. Evil Dead Two is such a good movie. Halloween. Oh, Halloween. The host is on here. Halloween. Halloween. I walk with a zombie. The Deep Conjuring. Red. Funny games. Alien? What's oh. funny games? Oh, that's the one with um, Naomi Watts and where the two brothers break into their house and torture her and her husband. Oh, oh God. Also, it's, yeah, Halloween should have been higher up there. Yeah. The Conjuring. Um, not That's not even on the list. That's insane. The Conjuring is so good. Yeah. Eyes Without a Face is on this list from 1960. That. Get Out get, is on get the out, list. No. Okay, I think Get Out is really overrated. Ugh, I hated that That, that movie. could be on both these lists. Get Out well, is like a good movie, but it's not a gr- like fantastic movie. It's no. just good. And I hated the other one, Us. Yeah, I didn't think us was like. Oh, what about uh the what the alien one? Um it was okay. I like I liked the the premise was interesting and then it just got kind of eh. the, but the, the spaceship was cool. Yeah, like, there was some cool I was scenes. some yeah, definitely. I'll be honest, I fell asleep in the middle of it. Did yeah. you really? Yeah. Oh no. That was okay. Um and before we get to the question game, um what is the healthiest vegetable of oh, all time? Oh, this is right up your alley. Spinach. According to the C D C. Uh they tomatoes. have just named the de- Number one healthiest vegetable you can eat. And okay. I have never had this in my life. Carrot. I, don't, I don't buy this. I don't buy the CDC, but... Um, a carrot. Think? I don't know. I'll give you uh, the Okra. top 10. Collard greens, number 10. Okay. okay. Gross. Romaine lettuce is number nine. Yum. Parsley is number eight. Ugh. Ugh. Leaf lettuce. Yum. The kind that grows on their own loosely. Mm-hmm. Uh, chicory is number okay. six. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that. Mm-hmm. Spinach is five. Okay, yum. something I've actually had. Spinach yum. is really good for you. Beet greens, Ew. number mm-hmm. four. Chard, mm-hmm. number three. Uh, I don't think I've ever eaten that. Chard, yeah. That's good. Wow. It's gross. Chinese cabbage is number two. Mm-hmm. Number one, watercress. Okay. Okay. I don't even... You could put a bunch of vegetables on the table. I would not be able to tell what a watercress looks Laura like. The Laura would be able to identify as a potato. <laughs> broccoli. Maybe yeah. broccoli and broccoli. a potato. Yeah. I'm not going to start eating it. I'm not. He says it's loaded with nutrients. It's nutrient dense. I don't think potato is a vegetable. I think it's a root. Cream of watercress. No, it doesn't even say anything about that. Potatoes are not that good for you. They're starch. I know. know, It is starch and carbs, right? I don't think they're that bad for you. They're just very. They don't have a bunch of nutrients. Well, does the does the skin have nutrients in it? I don't know. Okay, so here are these are new question cards that I just got. Okay. Now, how do we want to play this? Do we want to just like? Do you want to? Um, I'll just pick ask. your card. Yeah, Let's just just ask. Questions. Okay, here we go. Okay. Keep it simple. Ba bang. Guys, what is one underrated quality you find attractive in a person? What is one underrated quality that you find attractive in a person? Their body. 
That's not <laughs> underrated. That's pretty. Just that's kidding. pretty top rated. Um, I don't know. Their eyes. No, that's top rated. Oh. I'd say something like you know, like, like earlobes or something. You know, like okay. something like that. Have you seen an ugly and an attractive pair of earlo- like earlobes? Like, has it yeah. made the difference? You're like, oh god, they're earlobes. Yes, I've seen some horrible earlobes, and okay. I've seen some nice earlobes. Did, did you say a personality trait or what? No, what physical? Oh, physical. Likes. What is one? No, what is one underrated quality? Oh, so I'd maybe not physical. Politeness. That's I, not underrated. I can't think of any underrated traits. Then okay, I think Ooh. they're all rated. When was the last time you saw someone cry? This morning, when I looked in the mirror, when I woke up. <laughs> Stop it! Uh, probably not that long ago. <laughs> no. Really? No. I mean, who? When was the last time I saw someone cry? Oh my god! Oh, I know. My daughter called me. <laughs> this isn't funny, but I just what she said was kind of funny in hindsight. So she calls. She FaceTimes me. And it's nighttime in New York City. And she's lugging this big backpack and she's walking down the street. And she had just gotten out of school and she had just worked a full-time shift. So she is going to the subway because now she lives in Brooklyn. So um, she goes to Fordham, which is in, you know, uptown Manhattan. So she, okay, so there are three factors here. She was on her period. She was super tired. And she was hungry. That sounds like me every day. <laughs> so <laughs> she's like, Mom, I just, I don't know. If I just, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm so sad because I just, I feel like I can't come home. She goes, these streets are eating me alive. <laughs> like, Evan, Evan, go home to your boyfriend. Have him make you some tea. Eat and go to sleep. You will feel a hundred times better. This is this is all hunger induced. How come you never tell me that? <laughs> so anyway, that's when I you never stop eating. <laughs> that was <True>. like recently. <laughs> okay, um, if every human came with a warning label, what would yours say? Uh, Bitch, <laughs> po- poops ten times a day. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably frequent pooper. No, uh, don't poke me if I'm hungry. Um, don't be, uh, <laughs> don't be put off by the resting bitch face. He's actually a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, I would just say warning. <laughs> yeah. Colon bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about me? Um, what would my warning label be? Poops once every 30 days. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's not a warning label. Watch out. She's well, slightly psychotic. A little bit, a little psycho. I would say. Yeah. Unpredictable. Bring it. I don't know. Oh, not but that like could a, be a good way. Parentheses, not over way. <laughs> oh, way. caution, caution <laughs> over shares. Oh, yes. Yeah. Doesn't yeah. shut up. Be no. careful yeah. about what you say to yeah. her and what you do with her. Yeah. Emot- uh-huh. Emotionally okay. overbearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, stop. Stop. Let me think. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've got some more. Oh, mm, my God. Okay. Imagine your daily routine had been turned into a reality show. Which parts would be talked about the most? <laughs> the sex scenes. Oh my, dude! I'm all I'm saying, I believe it. I can't. I am not allowed to say anything. But oh my god! <laughs> I bet. I bet. I bet. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, for me, God, I just I don't know. It's nothing. I do nothing. I mean, I go to work. Maybe like my work stuff because it's kind of exciting sometimes. I think my, it's. I think it's probably when you switch from one end of the couch to the other. <laughs> when you're watching TV. Know, yeah. right? Oh God, she moved. <laughs> yeah. Mine she would, switched yeah. positions. Yeah, she switched positions. <laughs> Mine would be when I dress up as a bat at night and fight crime. Oh, San Diego. <laughs> oh my God. The police um, love me. They say I do their job for them. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do in life if money wasn't an issue? I'd continue to fight crime at night. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, God, I would um, I would just travel. Me too. I would travel, tra- Ugh, that's travel, so travel. I know it is. I know it is. But I want to see the world. I want to go on a safari. I want to go to Africa so bad. I want to go see, uh, I want to go to Greece. I want to, you know, see Australia. I want to you know, go to Vietnam. I, there's so many places I want to go to. I'd build a theme park. Would you really? That sounds like so much fun. Really? Yeah. That would, what would you name it? Brian's world. No, that's stupid. <laughs> I call it Disneyland. 
Did, so, did, so he, did he land? Last, no, he no. Land, oh. Did he land? Oh, oh damn. God, no. Like, oh, 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 oh. That's not a place you want to go to. Okay. God, did you just Sharon Stone the camera? Yeah, and FYI. Oh, wow. All right. This, I am, I am literally drenched in sweat right now. I am too. I, really? Yes. It is, it's it hot is like that it dress is really, that dress is radiating heat. It like, is just I'm, the oh, worst thing oh ever. Oh my god! I feel like I'm gonna melt. All right, two more. When you sit next to somebody on a plane, what do you think goes through their mind? Oh fuck! <laughs> do not talk to this guy. Don't don't, don't get no eye contact. I don't want to be bothered. Yeah, like if, if I sat next to you on a flight, is that what you would think? No. no. That's no. what I always yeah, get is. aisle seats and I always pray that no one sits in the middle. And when someone sits in the middle, I go, oh, fuck. <laughs> she would, Laura totally think that about me. No, I wouldn't. No. I would not. I actually would probably talk to you. I'm a talker. Even, yeah, I'm, I'm a plane we, talker. You guys know each other. No. Oh, my God, like are you? I'm a plane talker. Oh, my God. That's oh my, my God. worst nightmare. I know. I'm, I, I'm, the, I'm your worst nightmare. I would literally be I like, know everything about your kids by the end of the flight. I, I know everything about your... I would open the emergency door. I know totally everything would. about I your the, wife. I'd let the vacuum of 50,000 <laughs> I'd, hit, I'd hit the little I call button. I know what button. you do for a living. <laughs> yeah, I'd hit the call button and be like, can I move my seat? I'd have the air marshal Oh, my God. I talk the entire time. Oh, my God. You would be a nightmare. Bear. I oh I like my to God. get to know people. I'd go ask everybody if they were an air marshal if they could please arrest oh, seriously. me. Seriously. This woman is harassing me, please. I would ring the button. I'd be like, I think I'm having a heart attack. I'd put a this pull, pull a ball gag shut. out of my backpack ah. and just put it on you. They'd be like, sir, how do you know you're having a heart attack? I'm like, I just know. Like, let me get a doctor. Let me see if there's a doctor on board. I'm like, no need, I know. Just take me somewhere just, else, Just ground please. this plane immediately or give me a parachute. <laughs> I'd be like... Oh. I'd be like, flight attendant, I'd be I like, know. she says she has a bomb in her purse. Oh, <laughs> like, my God. Can you get her off this flight, She please? showed me her gun. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, finally, and I know the answer, your answer. When was the last time you laughed uncontrollably? I witnessed it. Yours. And I think it was, this is mine, too. Because I was, you were laughing so friggin' hard, you could not even breathe. It di at dinner, remember our dinner, and oh, you yeah. you like he was like his face was beat red. Oh yeah, and like his he was eyes were so squinted shut, like it didn't even look like you had eyes. Yeah, and your face, you were just <laughs> laughing. He couldn't even utter oh yeah. like a, a a syllable. I said something to the effect of. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I, I was referring to not myself per se, but like somebody who's dry down there yeah. would be like having sex with a wooden birdhouse. <laughs> now, oh, what the fuck is Eric, wrong with you guys? Eric never he laughed so freaking hard that it made me laugh. Why is that what you picked? <laughs> I, because you know what? Somebody used to say that that I know, and I'm oh, I'm not gonna out him, but somebody used to say that. And he used to make me There's laugh so every much more time. you could depict, like a gopher hole in the Sahara or... <laughs> Wooden birdhouse. Like, Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Wooden birdhouse, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> like the little hole in the birdhouse. Yeah, house. no, I'd say a garden hose and... <laughs> oh, know, my God. The abandoned house in the corner. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> anyway, so what about oh, you, man. Brian? Do you, have you, ever, have you oh. ever laughed uncontrollably? Oh, yeah. I don't remember the last time. <clears throat> like what would make you laugh uncontrollably? Something funny. I mean, but like, like it has to be witty, funny. Like, like a well placed fart joke would do the trick. Oh, really? No, I'm kidding. Of course, I'm not. like, wow, that's basic. No, I don't know. I just think about that. Usually, it just it hits me. I can't. I, I want. I would love to witness that. Okay. Oh my god! I would love promises. to. I know that we need to end because I'm like I'm, like I'm literally absolutely sweating to death. I'm, I'm so hot. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys, Bye. thank you good, so good much night. for watching and listening and <laughs> putting oh up God, with us. So and uh, love your podcast. I Just, love you. No, please. Now you want to drag it on? Now you want to drag it out? Just, oh, oh, damn. <laughs> Just love your podcast. Wow. Love you, my sweet babies. Woo. I know, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs>